Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to replace the master cylinder on this MX-5 because a car that runs is good, but a car that stops is even better. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So, essentially, the part we are looking to replace is this whole assembly. This is our master cylinder. As you can see, I have done a little mark, so basically, uh, before we take on replacing this, I make sure that I didn't add any leak anywhere. There was no leak. You can get a little bit of pressure, but none of this is moving. So this is more than likely the issue that will give us the time to clean up a bit behind there as well. So what I've done on eBay from this guy for 40 quid which is pretty decent because if you look at the master cylinder price brand new they are quite expensive I'm not going to bother replacing this even though it is in a better state than the one I've got but it's a bit more of a pain to get rid of that so the idea is on this one a lot easier because basically we've got one connector here we've got two pipes one here, one here, that go down and then we've got just those two bolts to get rid of and then the whole grouping will come out so much easier empty the container big syringe, great if you have if you don't uh, normally I've got one but I couldn't find it so I went to the shop found that you open it up the little pipe that go down the bottle Put that instead and then you use the container to spray the liquid into yeah it looks fancy as well yes once you've empty our liquid put a rag underneath because the next stuff we are going to connect are going to be filled with liquid so it's going to drip so those two there on the side you want 10 mil spanner this is 14 mil. You can go with it for a spanner or a socket, and then R2. Here we go. R2 there. That all the whole infrastructure. Those guys are 12. And here obviously you're better with a socket because with a spanner it won't be practical. Anyway, let me undo all the pipe. Well, as you can see, it's out, but I had to chop those two lines. Basically. And this guy here, look at that, look how rounded that is. None of them wanted to move, these are at the top or bottom, so. But look how gross that is. Make me wonder if I should actually replace it. I order a tool to basically resort those out. And uh, yeah, crossing like I'm going to have to wait. For that to be delivered anyway, uh, I think I might as well just get rid of that gross stuff. Alright, that guy is such a state, I'm going to replace it as well. Actually, fairly easy. So, as you can see here, hold on, there we go. So, here is where we have a pin here. That's basically all the pedal and it's just this little guy so you just pop it out so easy enough and then basically it's those guys there uh, you can see because of the pedal here we go one two three four all four corners and that should come off and looks like it's some 12 as well like on the other side anyway i'll do this because you know not much to see here and I'll see you when it's done. But yeah, I mean, if we compare the two, look at the state of that. I mean, even this at this level, you know, those we couldn't remove. This is a lot cleaner. And if you look, this guy. Uh, beefier as well. I mean, I think the master cylinder itself is beefier. I wonder if this is actually from a 1.8, which have bigger brake. Because if you look, 
the new one is definitely thicker than the old one. Hopefully it will break better, because this must have been going on for a while. It's never had good break, to be honest. It used to, you know, it would break, but you would kind of have to plan for it. Uh, but I think essentially we might not have just wet break, so we shall see. When this is on, does it work? And does it break better than it used to? All right, well, as you can see, we have to continue in the rain. So, we are the next day. This is gone, just cut those flush. I've got the tool right here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it's quite right, because I think it's a bit more conic that need to. The smallest diameter of this wasn't small enough, so pop to Alford. And thankfully the other one, but it really needs the smallest size here. So, they are kind of done. At least I think good enough. <laughs> you know, for the first time, we should see whether we've got clicks or not. And I had to do them twice, because the first time, like an idiot, I had those stuff upside down, so I did the flaring, but then the thread would be at the bottom. So, yeah. But anyway, we can finally put that stuff back in now. Alright, underneath here, we're all set up again. The pedal attached to it on all. And, uh, put that guy back in. We've got this one back in. This one is just being a bit of a pain, but after I do this one back in, then we can put this guy in here as well. Sort out the plug. As you can see, look here, it's not the same plug. So what I'll do is I'll cut that and I'll use the plug from the other one. And then that will work. And then, yeah, basically get all of that done. Then we can bleed the brake and see whether we actually have brakes now or not. <laughs> would be nice but you know oh, the end of line flaring was such a pain in the neck um yeah but anyway let's uh, crack on all right so all nice and tight in here so about the car closer that way i can sort out the plug with the soldering iron uh, i'll sort that out quickly and fix this up yeah and then as the car has the butt first and then we can at least start pleating the rear generally the order is the furthest away i'm not too sure whether it's left or right but whatever as long as we start with the back on the front we'll be all right um yeah and unfortunately folks we also have a leak on one of the hard lines so uh, yeah, this uh, episode will be uh, longer than expected, but essentially, yeah, this is around here. Uh, pump away. And yeah, you, go. you can see it nicely there, couple of spots. Yeah, stop. But yeah, so basically, we are going to need to replace a hard line from here to wherever this guy will go, basically. Uh, yeah, so fun continues. So yesterday left ignition on, so I can't move it, so I'm going to have to fix it here. But I've got some hard line over there, and luckily the one we've got busted, which is basically this one. Oh, let me get a light. go and this one that's busted and that one basically it just turns here and you go and the one we can see pass here for some reason it goes back and then come back up but it's disconnected so I've already disconnected that and uh, yeah, I'm going to disconnect it at the bottom, try to extract it without changing its shape too much. 
Uh, it's often the case on all cars when you're trying to do a job, which is quite small because it's a very small hard line, but yeah, this guy does not want to come off. And as you can see now, it's pretty much a perfect, perfect circle. So yeah, basically we are going to have no brake until I resolve this guy, which yeah, it's not going to be easy to make it come out. Alright, so if sometimes you wonder why some weeks there is no video, it's very much because of stuff like that. Where well, the job is easy, but I spend days on one little thing. I mean, <coughs> look at that guy. It's a cylinder now, it's not even like. But. I'd said more grip, so. That's the only one I've got, can we pesta? So I'm going to give that a go because it's like such a tiny little outline we need to do. Such an easy job. Because that just served as just on this. Alright, got the bastard out. Chop them out. Takes like probably five minutes to wet it back anyway, but yeah, we can look at it. It is done. Look at this. Look at that. So to start with, uh, when it was on the car, did not want to get out of the hole at all once I've put it in there. <laughs> but basically what I've done, pretty much sacrifice for 10 mil basically socket. Uh, but yeah, when it came out, use a grinder to basically reshape it when this could the 10 mil socket could like sort of fit on basically hammered it on and then yeah it went but yeah like I said I I'd be very lucky if I can get that 10 mil socket back but it is done and we don't need that piece back because we've got some spare one so we can continue the only downside is now we will have the extra work of Welding this back to the car. Nothing is ever easy. <laughs> Alright. Put this guy back on. <coughs> not the prettiest job, you know, it's not as clean as a banded metal piece in it, but it fits and we didn't have to spend more money, so all good can <laughs> finally to the hard line. Alright, so shape we have to do is this essentially so that's the, that's the master cylinder bit and then yeah, it's like that in the car essentially. But as we've seen, I'm not too sure why it goes back to then go back in because here there is nothing you can literally just go from there to there so I think that's what I'm going to go for, to be honest. Uh, yeah, because, you know, kind of like complicated bend for no reason. So, yeah, and uh, yeah, I don't have special tool for that, but that stuff you can generally uh, with your hands. You know, you grab the pipe, you bend, and with your thumbs, and yeah, you can get to that shape. But yeah, I won't bore you with all of that, I'll see you when this is done and then essentially when the shape is formed you basically need to attach a couple of those guys on it and yet another day uh, but look what I've got huh? 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 a lovely little hard line so let's go put this in let's move this out of the way a bit so then what I'll do is, considering I need to do all four corners, I don't really want to uh, work in the mud. At some point this will need to be made in concrete or whatever, but, you know, when the money comes... So before I put the soft line back on, then I get out of giving it a bit of a clean. It looks that's how it was. So, just a bit of a clean with that. I'll give it, put a bit of tape, obviously, 
at the end of, of the orifice, give it a coat of paint, yeah, just to protect it a little bit so it doesn't corrode too quickly. Otherwise, the rest of the line is okayish for stuff. Like, but anyway, yeah, just wanted to show you that too. Alright. All up in there before we remove. I won't bore you with the bleeding process, but yeah, I'll see you after the bleeding is done. Oh, and there you go. As you've seen, guys, it was quite a journey, but we now have brakes on our MX-5. So, next on this one will be tackling the... making sure it runs right, basically. Uh, I'm going to look for uh, earth that may not be connected, stuff like that, and then basically, yeah. One by one, we have to diagnose what's wrong with it, and then we can solve it. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. If you want to continue following the MX-5 journey, and it's your first time, yet, click subscribe, and then like, and then ah, and then we, and then who, and then.